What is up YouTube? Welcome to Panfro Games. In today's video, we have another shiny hunting exploit for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet the Teal Mask. And the main Pokemon that we're gonna be focusing on in this video is going to be Shiny Grubbin and Chargebug. We have a good way to exploit these guys and a couple other spawns as well that you might enjoy too. And of course, guys, like my type of content, enjoy these videos. Please leave a like, subscribe if you're new. I really appreciate it. Consider supporting the channel by joining the Pan Fam by hitting that join channel member button below. But so let's begin with the location. So step one, you want to probably fly out to Paradise Barrens and then go south. I'm right on the border between Paradise Barrens and the uh, other area down here, the, uh, the fields. And from this starting point, we're going to look towards the fields. Get on our ride, Pokemon. We're going to take a slight little trip. And we're going to be hugging the wall on the right here. We're going to hug it. And we're going to go through these rocks. And we want to get past that first set of rocks to the second set of rocks. And you're going to be at the right location when you see there's one big boulder and these six little rocks together. And you just want to be, like, right over here. And we are going to, like, save our game. Uh, just keep the spot going so you're good to go. Just in case you make your sandwich, you don't get the shine, you can reload, and you're good to go to easily do this. Now, you can see a lot of Pokemon are spawning in this area, and this is a very interesting location. Uh, there's two different uh, spawning types here. There's the grass spawns, and then there is the, like, mountainous rough zones right here. And between these two and this whole area, because this top of the map... It's pretty much littered with this. It's hard to find an area that only gets just one kind. So it's best just to hunt for Pokemon that spawn in both areas so you can isolate those. Now, we're going to start with Grubbin here. And I will say this. Grubbin is a nighttime only hunt. If you do it during the daytime, you will be getting cutie flies spawning here too. And you don't want to deal with that. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up our picnic. And we're going to use a bug type sandwich to do this shiny hunt. And the bug type sandwich is relatively easy to make. Of course, we are going to be using Herba Mystica for all of these sandwiches. And luckily, we don't have to use cherry tomatoes anymore. We can actually use the item potato salad, uh, which is going to make everything so much easier. And then we're going to use one salty. And you can either use a sweet or a spicy. I'm just going to toss a spicy on here. Now, with Grubbin, it spawns in both tile areas. Is going to be spawning in both the grass and in the like area that's just, just this dirt. The reason why I like this spot a lot and why I feel like it's important making a video on it is because Grubbin is such a small spawn. It hides in the grass. It can be very annoying. But the fact that a lot of them spawn not in the grass means it can be super easy for you to notice the shinies. Of course, Charger Bug, very easy shiny to notice as well as it's going to be completely red. So we got our sandwich made. We got level three for all the good stuff for bug type Pokemon. And we are now re uh, ready to do this hunt. So we're just going to do this and we're going to have 30 minutes to do it. So you can see on our left and our right, we're going to be getting some spawns coming in. So we got Charger Bugs and we got Grubbins. And these are the only Pokemon that are going to be spawning in here. The spawns can vary based on actual location, but you can see the ones on the left are so much easier to see than the ones on the right. Luckily, the shinies are very obvious. As you can see on the screen here, uh, the Charger Bug is all red and Grubbin is going to be red as well. Instead of that orange, it's going to be all red and it's going to have like red dots on the side. So it's going to be relatively easy. You can actually move back a little bit further if you would like to. This positioning sort of up to you you can get your picnic pretty much set up as long as there's some room behind you you can pretty much have your picnic set up anywhere so hopefully you get this shiny pretty quickly but this is going to be an awesome place to actually shiny hunt for gut robin if you would like you could make this a run around hunt as well but i do prefer the picnic reset as it is going to be a bit faster than just running around and hoping you just get the spawns you need well it took us almost the full sandwich we actually ended up with shiny charge bug which is definitely much easier to notice than the shiny grubbin for sure but absolutely beautiful shiny right there uh i think my best suggestion for this hunt is if you're having an issue looking for the grubbin maybe walk around a bit too because 
it is the same shade of red as this charger bug so it should pop out from a distance however i know not everyone is going to have the best vision on that type of thing so maybe like walk around a little bit just in the general area of the spawns and then go back and reset it's a little bit slower but it makes it so you don't miss your shiny sandwich number two second charge of bug still no grubbing but we'll get there but hey working consistently at least per sandwich getting a shiny sandwich number three charger bug number three after two and a half sandwiches we finally got our shiny grubbing so let's compare for the people who are unsure it is a much darker red it's a little bit more silver color too but the darker red is definitely much more noticeable even at a distance looking at the grubbins here you'll notice how much darker it truly is but there we go shiny grubbin this spot does work it just may take some time and at the very least you'll notice your charge of bugs without any hesitation now let's move on to our next shiny huh next up we're gonna be doing a flying type sandwich at night because we can catch our favorite now new murkrow pest which is gonna be hoot hoot noctowl i'm gonna use you know one salty and one spicy for this but you have a couple of options with the herbs on this one too there we have it sparkling title encounter level three for flying type pokemon and ready to begin this hunt and we're exclusively gonna be getting the hoot hoot noctowl line here they're gonna be spawning to our left to our right they spawning really fast and they're really easy to see and their shinies are super obvious they're gonna be like a bit more golden in general so you don't have to really you know look too hard this is gonna be much easier than the grubbin as they're not uh very tiny let's move on to our next shiny hunt for our next hunt we're gonna be going for a fighting type sandwich so i'm gonna be using one pickle one salty and one spicy there we go sparkling title encounter level three for fighting type pokemon and ready to begin this hunt now this is not an isolated shiny hunting method however you will get a lot of mianfus and you'll get timbers as well so i would say it's about a 50 50 chance on these uh we do have an isolated timber spot already on the channel but this is my first time getting mianfu on video so i think this spot's pretty good if you don't have either of these for your shiny living decks then this is a pretty decent area to do a reset so you know you can try to get one of each here uh you could also run around this whole zone as they're the only fighting types that are going to spawn in this little area so good luck on the shiny hunt uh, remember shiny man food is going to be blue and timber is going to be like a golden uh, and red color on it for our last shiny hunt we're going to go back to the daytime and we're going to be making a normal type sandwich with one fried filet one salty and i'll go with one spicy there we go sparkling title encounter level three for normal type pokemon and ready to begin this hunt so with this hunt during the daytime you're going to get two types of pokemon spawning we're gonna get munchlaxes which is definitely the really good part about this hunt and you'll also get scovets now it seems like the munchlax are the exclusive normal type spawn to this like ground area and the scovets and the munchlax both spawn in the grassy fields so technically you're gonna get a little bit more munchlaxes because there are two areas where the munchlax spawns while there's one area where the scovet spawns now munchlax is a not the easiest pokemon to isolate shiny hunt from what i've noticed seems to be a lot of normal spawns in a lot of areas where it does spawn so this is sort of one of the better spots for it outside of just doing a mass outbreak or you know beating hard ogre allison and getting the shiny from that way scovet actually never really had a great isolated method either in the base game so technically this is actually a better method for it i'm sure there's going to be a better scovet area later that i can find but there you have it guys those are all the shiny hunts that you can do in this location. I think this is going to be pretty decent, especially for uh, Grubbin uh, and Charger Bug. Shout out to my friend uh, Chains for letting me know about this spot. And good luck on all your shiny hunts, guys. Of course, if you have any good locations, feel free to let me know in the comment section below or on Discord. Really appreciate it, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out, and have a good one.